Hey yo, Teddy here, and today's video was about remakes. The best and the worst. Although most remakes fall somewhere in the middle, kind of mediocre. You know, because the original film that they're remaking is usually a fucking cinema classic, you know? And they're making a new version for a new fucking audience, right? Right now, Simon Cowell is busy uh, trying to produce a remake of Saturday Night Fever. Wants to get Zac Efron to play the John Travolta part. Well, pff, that'll probably suck. Uh, but who knows? Maybe it'll be awesome. Although not, not fucking likely. But most of the time, fucking remakes are all about preference. Do you prefer the original Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory with Gene Wilder? Or do you like the new uh, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory with fucking Johnny Depp? Personally, I think Gene Wilder did a better Willy Wonka. But the musical numbers in the new Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with the fucking Oompa Loompas, they were better. The original ones were kind of just irritating and slowed the movie down. And do you prefer the original Dawn of the Dead or the new Dawn of the Dead? It's all preference, you know. I think the new Dawn of the Dead is pretty slick. But uh, some people don't like the fact that the zombies run instead of shamble slowly. Eh, hey, that's all for you guys to debate. But here's one of my picks for the worst fucking remakes ever. Miracle on 34th Street. Oh, yeah. I mean, the original Miracle on 34th Street is a fucking classic about this old guy who thinks he's fucking Santa Claus. Or maybe he is. Who fucking knows? Whatever. But it fucking plays every fucking Christmas on TV, some fucking way, just like a fucking It's a Wonderful Life, you know? It's a tradition. Everybody fucking knows it, you know? Uh, so they decided to make a fucking remake of it. it. Turns out to be exactly the fucking same as the original. The only difference is that the fucking guy from Jurassic Park plays the guy who thinks he's Santa Claus. Whoopity fucking do. What a fucking waste of time. Another one of the fucking worst is a fucking remake of fucking Psycho. Ah, that one was another fucking complete waste of fucking time. I mean, Psycho is a fucking cinema classic, alright? It's one of those great fucking movies that everybody agrees is awesome. As a matter of fact, the guys who fucking made the new version of Psycho, they knew that the fucking movie was fucking great and untouchable, so they decided to remake it exactly the fucking same, frame for fucking frame. So it's totally fucking pointless. And the only difference is that it's in color, and it's got Vince Vaughn as fucking Norman Bates. Oh yeah, the guy from Wedding Crashes as Norman Bates. Well, that's, that is a fucking inspired casting, really. <sighs> Total waste of fucking time. In my opinion, there's no fucking reason to make a remake unless you can improve on the original, you know? That's why my picks for one of the best fucking remakes is The Fly. Oh yeah, The Fly. I mean, the original Fly is like this, you know, monster movie from the 50s or whatever. And it was about this scientist who, an experiment, got his head switched with a fly. He's got this fly head. Oh, it's like, oh, a fly head, ah! But the new version of the fly with Jeff Goldblum, the remake, way fucking improves on the original. The makeup is fucking awesome. He has, like, this slow transformation into a fly. He, like, slowly mutates. His, like, fingernails fall off. He, like, he just, you know, he just starts getting all gross, and the fucking makeup is just awesome. It's just a sick gross out of a fucking awesome-ass horror movie. Compare that to one of the worst, fucking King Kong. Now, I don't mean the three-hour version of fucking King Kong, although that one wasn't that great. But the King Kong from 1976 with Jessica Lang and fucking Jeff Bridges. Yes, the dude with an even bigger fucking beard. I mean, look at that. It's crazy. I mean, the original was one of those old black and white monster movies. You know, great fucking movie, original King Kong. But the new one in the 70s? The fucking special effects are worse than the original, even though the original was made in, like, 1933. It's just pathetic. It's clearly a guy in a fucking monkey suit. It's fucking sad. Ugh. King Kong 1976. 
worst remake ever. And today, we have more than just remakes. We have reboots. And what a reboot is, is it's kind of a prequel of the original movie. But they fucking change a bunch of things. You know? Uh, like uh, Star Trek did. Where they literally rewrite fucking space-time continuum in order to fucking make everything come out differently. Right now, Will Smith is working on a, uh, a remake or a reboot of the fucking Karate Kid. But this time he's getting his son, Jaden Smith, to play the Karate Kid. And to play Mr. Miyagi, they're getting Jackie Chan. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it won't. And they're also changing the title. It's not going to be called Karate Kid. It's going to be called Kung Fu Kid. So it's really not a remake or a reboot. It's a rehash. Kind of the same basic idea. A different title, different fucking everything. Now, the best remake, reboot, or whatever of all fucking time, the absolute best, is The Thing. Oh, yeah. The original Thing was a black and white monster movie about these guys in a fucking, you know, scientific station, the fucking North Pole. They dig up this uh, alien thing, which, well, the thing looks kind of stupid, kind of like uh, Frankenstein with claws, yeah, and he, like, terrorizes everybody at the fucking ice station, yeah, great, well, the, the thing, the remake, which came out in the 80s, it was directed by John Carpenter, a fucking awesome director who fucking made Halloween and fucking Big Trouble in Little China, does an awesome fucking job and totally, like, improves on the original. This time, the thing can, like, disguise itself to look like any member of the crew. So they, they don't know which one is the thing, but they know one of them is. And then, like, bursts out of a guy's head and has all these tentacles and claws, and it's just nasty. It's just awesome. It's just a fucking great-ass fucking movie. And it's the best fucking remake of all time.